we are going to discuss the second chapter of economics the sectors of the indian economy part 2 we have already discussed about gdp the greater the gdp the greater the economy of the country let us study the gdp of our country through this graph in year 1970-71 the total gdp in the three sector was rupees 10 lakh crore whereas in 2010-11 the gdp rose to 50 lakh crore rupees we also see the tertiary sector has emerged as the most dominant sector in terms of production let us see and understand what are the reasons for growth of tertiary sector there are many factors which have helped in the growth of tertiary sector india with its huge population requires many basic services like hospitals education institutions courts police stations postal services banks insurance companies etc providing jobs to many people with the development of primary and secondary sector the development of tertiary sector takes place when people earn money after meeting their needs they like to spend money on entertainment like eating out going to cinema sending their children to private schools going to private hospitals for better medical care in the last decade or so and essential services of information and communication technology has emerged which provides jobs to a large number of people these are the factors which have helped in growth of tertiary sector in terms of percentage of the year 1970 71 the gdp of primary sector is 45% about 20% from the secondary sector and rest from the tertiary sector now gdp in 2010 11 from the primary sector is only 15% 25% from the secondary sector and rest from the tertiary sector now let us see the in comparison to the gdp the situation of employment of the same year in 1970 71 the primary sector the employment was given to 75% people now here we can see in the same year the income from the primary sector was 45% and the rest of the employment was given from tertiary and secondary sector in 200910 still primary sector uh, is uh, the dominant sector in terms of employment it is giving employment to 55% of people rest is being given by tertiary and secondary sector now this shows that our agriculture sector is not growing well the earnings in the agriculture sector are not good even though the secondary sector rose by five times but it gave employment only to three times our tertiary sector rose by 14 uh, times but the employment uh, went up to 5 times the sector in the primary people are not earning well they are suffering from underemployment and disguised unemployment underemployment means people are not earning according to their potential they are putting in more labor and not paid accordingly underemployment is both in the 
rural area and urban area in the rural area small farmers landless farmers suffer from underemployment whereas in the urban area casual workers daily wage earners plumbers painters etc they earn from they suffer from underemployment the other type of an unemployment is disguised unemployment this is mostly in the agriculture sector disguised unemployment is a situation in which more people are engaged in an activity than required they appear to be working but not to their full potential this type of unemployment is hidden so it is called disguised unemployment for example lakshmi a small farmer has 2 hectares of land she is dependent on rain for irrigation all the five members of a family work on the land but the land requires the efforts of only 3 workers rest of the two members are extra on the farm if they are removed the production will not suffer now all the five workers working on the land their effort and income is divided leading to low income for the family this situation is in most of the villages in india we all know that more than half the population is dependent on agriculture in the primary sector but primary sector generates only 1/4 of the income for the country that means the workers in the primary sector are not earning well there are some of the suggestions to generate employment and improve their situation in the rural area government can provide loans at low rate of interest to small farmers like lakshmi so that they can put up wells on their farms buy input and go in for multiple cropping this will increase the income of the family government can also start construction work like building of roads repair of roads repair of wells digging of canals generating employment atta mill dal mill cold storage food processing plants can be set up in semi rural area generating employment for some of the workers villages near the forest their honey collecting centers can be started so that it will improve the situation for some of the people every area in india has potential for the local craft government can encourage that local craft and give employment to some of the people the right to work central government of india has implemented narega that is national rural employment guarantee act this act was implemented in 2005 initially this act was implemented in 200 districts in india later on it was implemented implemented in many more districts in india this act guarantees 100 days of work and if for some reason government is not able to provide them with work government guarantees allowance of 100 days in a year thank you for watching my video if you like my video share like and subscribe to my channel